1982. This is it. This is the battlefield. He was here. Maybe he still is. like that anymore. We're gonna find him. It's done. Mona's collision? I'm sending it today. No more rewrites, no more edits, no more second guessing myself. It is what it is. I'm proud of you, Muffin Top. I saw Martin was in film school. He had a poetry book in the back pocket of his jeans. It was a copy from a Guatemalan poet, which happened to be my favorite. I kissed him right there on the spot. After graduation, we tried our best. We really did. Writing scripts no one wanted to read, paying prices we couldn't afford. We were broke, with nothing to lose. So we decided to search. Escape winter, travel south. You can't feel homesick if there's no home to go back to. We wanted to hunt him down, the great poet that brought us together. <laughs> Our two-man search party for the legendary guerrilla commander, La Bestia. Even if that meant following a dead man's trail. It was known that he had left behind a diary, his greatest piece unpublished, untarnished, unread, containing all the answers to questions I never dare ask. Like, what the hell are we doing here? Have you checked the catalytic converter?
notado que a la masiva caravana centroamericana de inmigrantes ya se han sumado venezolanos. La caravana está a unos 500 kilómetros de las fronteras estadounidenses y cada día nuevos migrantes se unen a la difícil marcha. Organizaciones de derechos humanos han hecho un llamado a las autoridades migratorias del país del norte a detener la violencia de las autoridades. Did you come? I think you should be able to tell. It feels like we're just going through the motions. Welcome to adulthood, buddy. Oh, but this isn't what I signed up for. We're supposed to be making love, not faking love, unburdened by the crushing boredom of our success-obsessed generation. Yeah, capitalism can cause impotence sometimes. Sold it. Margo, you can't smoke in here. I'm celebrating, Martin. I sold it. Mm. Well, it's not actually sold, but it's optioned. Fuck the no smoking sign. You did it. Proud of you. Your eyes are googly. Why? No reason. Congratulations. Margo, should we break up? Happy anniversary to you, too. Are you sleeping with someone else? No. Gloria? Assistant director Gloria. God, no. Scriptwriter Gloria. What, I can't have pictures of my friends? You sent her your last short. Well, Gloria writes great dialogue. Mm, she's too Latina pretty for you. <laughs> and you were always too Caucasian pretty for me. Screw this. Okay. Good luck with all your future feature film endeavors. Bye, Martin. Wait, wait, don't go. Look, this isn't right. No shit, this isn't right. You're breaking up with me. I hope you write freaking indie student short films to your sad 45-year-old man wearing skinny jeans and moss green cardigans. Have a nice suburban life with your bleach Mexican illiterate foster child. Wait, don't go. I, I hate skinny jeans. And 
Plus, I can't pay for my tea. Look, I'm sorry for screwing things up, Margot. This means the world to me. Let's finish this together. Well, just for the record, this whole wild goose chase for Labesio was your idea. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it was. Just give me a minute to collect myself. And I won't be manipulated by an artsy cunt like you. Fair enough. Martin, what is this about? I mean, you're just so ambitious and beautiful and bright. I figured you deserve somebody better than me. I, I may not have all the answers. Hell, I don't even know the question, but I swear La Bestia does. And we're gonna find him. Was there any other way you can vent out your insecurities without breaking up with me so early in the morning? Frankly, no. But it was our duty to find La Bestia and write beautiful things. We're screenwriters. It's our job to save the world from itself. If, if not us, then who? If not now, then when? And if not, if not here, then where? And besides, I still care about you. And that's enough. So you'll stay? Caribbean coast. You were just thinking that. <laughs> How about the Pacific coast? We haven't been there yet. Maybe the Mayan biosphere jungles. That's where the war began. Mm. Maybe we could find some clues there. I feel like someplace chilly. Does your heart not suffice? Yes? What? Can we help you? Well, maybe. That's, uh, it's empty. It's true, it always is. Well, uh, what are you two doing out here? Uh, we're traveling writers. Untamed souls, dusting off the shelves of time, looking for the repressed memories oh, of it. Oh, yeah. You got any food? No. Oh, we'll carry on. We're searching for this one poet. He disappeared in the early 80s during the war. The greatest mind of his oh, generation. Oh, yeah, La Bestia. Nice kid. Tragic ending, though. <laughs> you knew him? Oh, yeah. I was touring with Dylan in the mid-70s, and somehow ended up down here around the same time La Bestia started reciting. That's how we met. Uh-huh. And? And what? And what was he like? 
You're the first person we've met who, who actually knew him. Well, no one ever really knew him. He was just this quiet young kid you'd see everywhere and nowhere all the time. The whole country knew his name, and his name was Trouble. Oh, God, that voice he had. The voice of active volcanoes and earthquakes. Yeah, that's him. We need to find him. Well, don't you know he's dead? Uh, technically, he was desaparecido. Euphemisms don't bring people back. Uh, gone is gone, kid. Did La Bestia leave behind a diary? Well, if he did, they'd probably burn it. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe not. Hope is youth's most powerful weapon. It backfired on La Bestia. Don't let that happen to you. You guys, um, got a smoke? Hey, thanks. I'll catch you on the flip side. Did you get any word from the producers? No. It's been four weeks. This waiting's killing me.
could light up an entire hideaway gorilla dive hole with just one verse. A true son of the ravines. The last romantic from the revolution. The great disruptor. He had a small sun on the tip of its fingers. Everything he touched was light. How in the hell are we gonna find him? He could be nowhere or anywhere at all. Well, didn't you hear the old man? Just follow your gut. Have a little faith in serendipity. That's nothing like what the old man said. He says that the diary's lost forever. I feel like he was just being elliptical. I'm so glad we're together. Well, I wouldn't share my poverty with anyone else. Martin, what are we doing? We're eking it out as screenwriters, traveling abroad in Central America on a particularly frugal budget, on a self-appointed mission to find the 20th century's greatest vanished poet. Maybe we should settle down. You mean like marriage? Hell no, not like marriage. More like coming to the terms that we're both nearly months away from turning 30. And we still can't even afford a decent hostel with a hot shower. Yeah. Well, how was I supposed to know boutique meant no hot water? Besides, we can just take a shower tomorrow when it's warm out. Check out, it's 10 a.m. Ooh, right. I'm sure we can find something stable yet creative. Middle class wage yet not too demanding. Look, we've talked about this. There is no way in hell that I'm going back to serving popcorn and sweeping those buttered floors. Those teenagers are brats. I just feel like we're wasting our lives away. I don't think we can survive another year like this. I'm still listening. We've been doing this for so long and we're no longer closer to making it than when we graduated film school. And we're still in debt. And forever will be. Sure, I option specs sometimes, but where's that actually ever gotten us? It got us here. Exactly. It got us here, which is nowhere at all. I don't want to feel obsolete so soon. Pushed aside into normalcy and routine and complete boredom by our accumulated failures. But sweetness, the fight is our freedom. We are quite literally living the dream. Waltzing up the border of obscurity, wielding our passports with our visas stamped by hunger, loneliness, isolation, Exhaustion, despair. uncertainty, and constant rejection. And with that comes no glory or dignity, no home of our own, no belonging anywhere. Oh, but we love the road. We live to find our one long lost idol. You can't buy that. And you can't buy time either. And the times, they are a changing. No, no, don't bring Dylan into this, not him. But, he even went electric in 69. We don't have to sell out. Uh, he did not sell out. Blood on the tracks was genius. Look, all I mean is we'll find a way. We have this one golden opportunity to make something beautiful. Like Charlie Kaufman beautiful? Yeah, something like that, I guess. Look, all I'm saying is that La Bestia's out there waiting for us. Let's just give it a little bit longer. Six months. A year. Eight months. Settled Bumblebee, nine months. And what happens after that? Well, you'll still be Bumblebee. And if we haven't made it by then, we'll grow up and settle down. And what's settling down for you? Sticking with your side. Not fucking it up, you mean? Uh, it could be. Everyone for it, say I. I. It's so cold in this place. Well, didn't you spend the extra 5Q for the extra blanket when you paid? I thought you were gonna pay this time. Start packing, woman. I once heard the story about his diary. When the bestie was captured in battle, the young soldier found his diary and read it in hiding. The next morning, he had orders to execute the poet, and he did so with tears in his eyes. They say that the young man died of a broken heart. When would that have been? Late winter, 83, somewhere around Guatemala City. That's not too far from here. No, I bet we could find an old friend or a lover there, or at least a police record. Or maybe an unpublished diary? It's the biggest city in Central America. Don't get greedy. Hey, by the way, your boobs look bigger today. 
Real classy. One more supple, one might even say. Stop it. Yes, dear. How can you love someone who sucks so much at the one thing they're supposed to be good at? I'm with you, Martin. Isn't that good enough? It never is. You, on the other hand, your nonlinear plot structures are always impeccable. You should write sweet nothings for a living. Well, seeing as I already lived to write nothing, Lord knows I'm trying. Hey, Martin. We need to talk. No, that's bad. OK. Um, OK. Martin, um, uh, we, have, we have something to discuss. Do you want to sit down for a sec? No, not a dog. Um, I can do that. Yeah, so can I. Don't patronize me, Martin. Just because you're a feminist doesn't mean I can't make supper for us every so often. I'm not patronizing you, Margot. You're just not a very good cook. Margot, what is... <laughs> In all seriousness, I, I swear to... We're going to be parents. Uh... Both of us. Yeah, both of us. Please tell me you still have an IUD. We always use condoms. And I always count my days. You sure? What? You know, you real sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm pregnant.
Do you have another test? Really? Is it mine? Of course it's yours. You creep. I'm sorry. For what? For knocking you up. Don't say it like that. It sounds so vulgar. <coughs> this isn't normal. <coughs> 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 Maybe it's one of those pseudo ceases. What? You know, a false pregnancy. <coughs> oh God, I'm gonna have to wear yoga pants for the next nine months. The mind's very powerful, you know. <coughs> Shut up and get me chocolate. Where the hell am I gonna get chocolate? <coughs> chocolate! Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Amazing chemistry in that movie. Very solid plot. Sí, señora. Al parecer está embarazada. Felicidades a ambos. It's not my fault I have some condition. Some sort of a fertility talent. Creo que tiene de tres a cuatro semanas. Where will tonight go? I knew those overly dramatic landscapes were trouble, and I told you so. No, well, you're the one that brought the wine out when the lightning storm started. Was he with your smooth talking that got me here in the first place? Look, I already told you. I'm sorry. The contract signed. My script. Mona's collision. Oh <laughs> What's next? Do they pay yet? Yeah. Producers transferred fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. That's it. Well, they haven't bought it yet. It's just option.
I swear I thought the hostel was just a half hour walk from the canal. I think we found it. from the mini mart because I love you. You made me do it. Are you avoiding it? Avoiding what? Do you want to keep it? Do you have to call it it? Wait, is that a trick question? I don't know. Is yours a trick question? I have no idea. What are we talking about again? So do you want to be the mother of my child? You really screwed up. It's one thing to waste our use, because it's ours to do so, but being pregnant with you is like... Like you never answer my question. You always veer off into one of those wandering monologues. Yeah, let me finish. Everywhere we go, we find nothing but wasteland. It's obvious you don't want to keep it. Don't call it that. It's obvious you don't want to keep the baby. Don't say that. That's something horrible to say. So do you? It's OK if you don't. Is it? I think so, honey badger. No. I don't think so. I need time. Well, do we have time? It is not like Poseidon, the king of the goddamn dolphins, is going to emerge from the shorelines all geared up, ready to check my uterus and deliver a baby. All right, I get it. No, you don't. Just stop being so goddamn understanding all the time. I can hear your weakness in your voice day in and night out. Look, I'm just trying to be on your side here. I know. I'm sorry I said that. No, well, that's okay. No, it's not. I'm turning into this really mean person that I don't want to be. It's like I'm possessed. You're not possessed. You're just pregnant. Yeah. With our baby. So, do you? What do you want me to do? Just hold me. Maybe we should split up. Cover more territory. Right? Yeah, that makes sense.
reminds me of you, cavernous, echoing with the voices of piety and redemption. Would you do it? I mean, could we? This might just be the only good thing we've ever accomplished together. Is there enough of a world left for new life? Let's look at the facts. We love each other. And if there's anyone I'd want to be stuck in this situation with, it'd be you. And plus, we've got great genes, right? You're sweet. Perhaps we can do it. You do have exceptional talent for character development. And I have been known for one or two noteworthy plot twists. We've fared Steve Rollins before. If we have proven anything before, it's that we can thrive in this world of ruins. Why should any of that change? I agree. We've always written beautifully together. I don't know why we couldn't also raise a child as well. Couldn't be that hard. Sure, we'll probably both die in some tropical, disease-infested, far-off third world country. But it could be way worse. We could both be actors. I listen to Elephant Parade And it tells me so much about my face No one and I got drunk in someone's attic I know nobody believes the old cliche anymore, but everything's gonna be all right. Do I wanna keep it? Screw Marlon Brando on the waterfront set. We're going to be parents. Got you coffee. You must be the sweetest girl this side of Rio Pensativo. I found a lead. Postcard from a mountain view? Not any mountain view. I knew I'd seen this before. It's in the book that you have. It's his favorite hideout. Would our baby even be safe in this country? I don't think we'll ever find a safe place for our baby. Well, should we get married? No. Why not? For people like us, a non-disclosure agreement should be enough. We don't have to put pictures of it on social media. Hell, an elopement would do for me. 
Margo, will you elope me? For someone who specializes in cheesy romantic comedies, you're not that romantic. You know, my agent tells me that all the time. You don't have an agent. She tells me that, too. You probably shouldn't smoke anymore. Hmm. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, no, but that oversized GMO grapefruit belly of yours can. We are pregnant? Oh, you get so hurtful when you're chubby. You get so snarky when we're chubby. Just yesterday, we were graduating from film school and thought in a matter of weeks we would sell some shitty Buddhist horror script. And overnight come the next Werner Herzogs. Berlin Festival darlings, Pondy fucking or and all that. That was years ago, Martin. We need to get our shit together. Maybe we should move back stateside. You're the one who wanted to find the poet warrior in Guatemala. When life in the north goes south, you follow it. We've been hot on the trail ever since. I wouldn't turn back for the world. Backup's gonna be here any minute now. They're gonna crucify you for it. Drop the piece, Blakey. Don't make this personal, buddy. You know you got it coming. You shouldn't have done it, Blakey. The whole county's out looking for you now. They'll come at you with everything they got. All the muscle from the precinct. Can't you see those bastards are out for blood? Please don't make it hard for yourself. You were the one that broke my heart, Officer Allen. You were my best friend. I thought you'd always be there for me. Blakey, don't call me officer, please. Don't do that to me. Remember that bird, Maggie, from the dining room at 51st? Yeah, I remember. She was the first girl I kissed the same summer you fell off the roof of that second-story pawn shop. Nearly scared me to death, you little punk. I never told you this before, but I loved her, Al. You know how hard it is to see you two every day together? I know, Blakey, I know. Al? Yeah, Blakey? No matter what happens, don't ever let them see me. Blakey, I'm sorry, pal. I should have done you better. You were a great brother. Ah! <laughs> A sniper shoots him through the window. Such a hackneyed climax. What are you talking about? That's classic film noir trope. It's homage. Personally, I think it's great. I like it. Do you really? Of course I do. Oh, thanks. If I die, will you take care of our baby? That escalated quickly. What the hell are you talking about? I just want to make sure. Of course I will. You hesitated. I'm afraid. Of what? I love screwing it up like I have so many times before. Yeah, but that's normal. I mean, we both have. We all have at some point. Yeah, but this is different. My track record is unbeatable. You know how I was before I met you? Impossible. Exactly. We've grown up since. Didn't you just say that we need to get our act together? No, I didn't. Look, Margo, our favorite thing is still to play pretend every night. Yeah. You're right. Who am I kidding? The smell of patchouli in here is asphyxiating. I must have laced that mango chutney with arsenic. This will now be my deathbed. It's so hot in here. I don't want to die in a cheap hostel attic. What a horrible third act. 
I've seen this film before. I know how it ends. I'm serious. I am too. Good night, my sweet prince. How would you like to go camping? Great. I'm tired. What is it? The producers dropped the option. Too earnest, he said. He's not interested. <sighs> I'll be all right, Ginger Snap, I'm sure. He'll find someone else to option it to. be the baby. I am your reluctant mother. Pleased to meet you too. So listen, I'm just gonna get to it if that's all right with you. Sometimes grown-ups make decisions that You're right, cut the crap. <laughs> this is it. It wasn't supposed to be this way. I swear. Whatever that means. You'll be a precious baby, no doubt. Just not mine. So basically what I'm trying to say here is I'm sorry for all the trouble. I truly am.
I need to get this done. I can't do this. I'm sorry. You know, I also hate the word termination. It doesn't matter. We gotta figure something else out. You coming? I just wanna stay. poeta de nuestro continente. ¿Para quién es? Es un regalo. No, no recordaba que lo tenía ahí. Él mismo me lo trajo personalmente. Antes de irse a la montaña. Los libros son raros. Se suponía que este debía venderse en el 83. Si lo ves, hazme un favor. Dile que le envío lo que le debía. I was thinking if and when Mona's Collision is sold to one of the big studios, we could go buy a farm up in the Highlands. I was just thinking that exact thing. Really? No, no, no. Well, I don't know how it would all work, but 
The goal is to go completely off grid. I've heard ducks and goats provide endless compost. And, and you could teach yoga retreats under avocado trees. And, well, I could learn to hammer things. So what do you think about going back home? Going back to whose home? Yeah, you're right. Certainly not ours. Yeah, we have no home, and besides, we can never afford it. Sincerity, you know you've already got it made. So, what do you do for a living? I'm actually a fiscal lawyer, but mostly deal with regional corporations that deal with advertising, marketing. Oh and my god. Please. Don't be so blah. Say something real. It doesn't have to be beautiful as long as it's true. Just don't be so dull. You're trouble. I've been told that before. Were you born like this? Am I not your type? Somewhat. I try to stay away from assholes like you. Well, sorry I can't be anybody else. You should know, though, that I'm very passionate about my job and the impact it has on thousands of people. You know, that they're working towards their goals every day, trying to make this world a better place, trying to use their skills for good. So, does the father of your child care? I'm a polyamorous, demi-bisexual monogamist, but I can make exceptions. Really? To which part? All of it. You never told me your name. Mrs. Smith. I can drive you home.
no, lo siento. No hay devoluciones. ¿Y la dirección? Ah, no, no, no. Esta era la dirección a donde yo le mandaba el dinero de las ventas. ¿Alguna casa editorial? No, no. Él siempre se autopublicó. Soy tenido de luz la fue. Va, mil gracias. Y a ver. Si funciona bien, casi nuevo. Sí, en qué sales. Eh, podría ser 150, tal vez. Es lo más que le puedo dar. 125. Sí. Solo. Vale. Cien sí, entonces. I'm guessing it must lead to his reduco. Well, I guess it's something. Is that a hickey? Sorry. Don't be sorry. It's my line, by the way. I was thinking about a fresh start, a new beginning, something fresh and exciting. I've had my fair share of false starts, thank you very much. A nice ending would be more than enough. Okay, I'll start. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Morning. This is already the worst second first date I've ever been on. Do you love me? I'm not in love with you. You're not in love with me, but do you love me still? I can tell you that I think we're great together. What is it you don't know? I don't know how I feel. Well, if you don't know how you feel, then how is it that you don't know if you love me or not? I don't know. It isn't rational. 
Margo, I'm just trying to understand you. Why, why do you keep shutting me down? It's just too much, okay? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but why? Oh my God, you sound like one of those goddamn producers and critics. Why, why, why? I'm not a character, Martin. I don't learn from my mistakes. My reactions have no motivations. My life doesn't have a goddamn story arc. Please, stop the bus. Please, Alto. I'm a human being, okay, I fuck up. People act erratically, they, they say one thing and they do something completely different. And the audience never learns why, because life isn't a fucking movie. And I'm always stuck with me, stuck somewhere with you, fighting for myself and the world, against the world and myself. And I don't know how in the hell we amounted to such tremendous fuck up. And you know what's really fucking frustrating? It's the fact that I'm the only one who ever options scripts and gets rejected because you are incapable of selling a freaking script by yourself. Why is that? Don't look across the tracks. There's nothing else out there. Don't you get it? It's just me and you stranded in some Guatemalan abandoned railway station. There's no one else around you. We can fix this. No, we can't. We've wasted our lives and we've agreed to waste another. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Look, we can fix this. We have this higher mission. Oh, you're delusional. Well, so be it. I mean, we've already made something beautiful together. Just don't hold back. I'm not holding back. Just don't hold back. I'm not holding back. Margo, just, just don't hold back. Martin, leave me alone. You're already alone, Margot. You always have been. Not enough, apparently. Look, I know I may not have what it takes to be a proper father. I may not even have what it takes to be a proper screenwriter. But just trust me on this. There's got to be someone out there that knows what to do in these situations, and we're gonna find them. Just, just don't hold back. Martin, for the last time, I am not holding back! Nothing's gonna hurt you, baby. As long as you're with me, everything's gonna be fine. You've always had a knack for appropriating the most appropriate song lyrics. Well, you're my forever girl. You stole that from Avatar. It's called an homage.
Say it. I don't have anything to say. Okay, maybe I do. Does it have anything to do with the alien life form inside of me? Maybe. This will be good. I just want you to know that I'll always support your decision. Unlike before. And I was thinking, I want you to go in to see him without me. What about us? You know I'd follow you to the ends of the earth. But first you gotta know where you're going. We've made it this far together. I'm not going in there without you. Well, I'd probably just be starstruck. I'd hate for him to see me like that. He's probably dead. Or the address is fake, or a decoy. Or an ambush. You're so pretty when you're sad. I'm always sad. And you're always pretty. I just got here and I already miss this place. See? Sir, Mr. Poet, it's such an honor. Eso no, no me pertenece. Are you not La Bestia? La Bestia? Venís buscando fantasmas. Sentate. 
Do you know where he's buried? Puede estar en cualquier parte. I need to find something that he left behind. Me hace recordar a la bestia cuando tenía más o menos tu edad, ¿sabes? Do you think that he fought to the very end? Me gustaría pensar que lo hizo. Creo que sí. Do you know if there's anyone Mira, yo solo soy un censón que aquí en esta selva, un guarda recursos, no tengo respuestas. ¿Qué te dedicas? I write. Escritora. Todavía quedan escritoras en el mundo. Yo pensé que las habían matado a todas. They almost did. What if we have to take life in order to protect life? In ese caso, no tengas miedo. But I'm not afraid. Esto es todo lo que queda de él. Llévatelo. Gracias. Margot. Sí. No está mal ser nadie de vez en cuando. Did you find him? I don't know. Well, that's okay. There's still places we haven't been. Maybe we missed something at the lake. Or an old friend or lover back in the city. You know, Bear, go back to where you came. You always go forward. I agree. Alone. Yeah, I know. Maybe we should split ways. 
cover more territory, right? Of course.